If you spend any time in the Morris Hall Gallery, you have undoubtedly come upon this gentleman, who is responsible largely for shepherding every student painter who puts brush to canvas. He's often in his art smock, music playing in his signature space, coffee cup not far from reach. After graduating from Capital University with a BA in art education, David Block was hired by headmaster William S. Putnam in the summer of 1974 as Academy's only art teacher. He taught all art classes for grades 1 through 12 in one room above the old dining hall and in the art barn. Now, a part of the upper school, he focuses on two- and three-dimensional studio art courses. One of the oldest school clubs, the Art Society, was formed by his students in the late 1970s. David shared that the club's most lasting accomplishment is the planning and presentation of the first Arts Mania. Prior to this current advisory structure, David was the sponsor of the 1992, 1997, 2000, 2004, and 2008 classes. And he continued to have lifelong connections with students. David has noted that one of his favorite aspects of his long tenure at Academy is the opportunity to have former students become colleagues. He has been the chairman of the art department and advisor to the Quest publication and advisor to the Disco Club. He's painted hundreds of football and miscellaneous events and for banners, or events and banners. He taught art camps for CA and CSG summer programs and for years he was an instructor in the Columbus College of Art and Design Saturday morning art classes at all levels. And in 1987, he was named the first W. Bolton Dixon Master Chair in Art and Art Appreciation. Rounding out his 49th year of teaching at CA, please welcome David Block. I promise you there will be no disco moves. <laughs> And I also promise you that this is I, this won't take very long. Um, I have about two and a half pages of written and some comments about the objects that you see here beside me on the stage. And I hope I get through this without too much emotion. I am not. I am known for that. So, all right. Quite frankly, it's mind-boggling and humbling to be up here before this illustrious gathering this morning. It was decades ago in early August that I was wondering just what I, just what had I gotten myself into, having accepted my first full-time teaching position at a private boys' school. But, inspired by my elementary teachers, I had known since fifth grade I wanted to be a teacher, just like them. At the time, I hadn't been openly dedicated to the rigorous chores of daily life on the family dairy farm. So I believe my parents came to realize, finally, they were not going to be able to keep this kid of theirs down on the farm forever. A, that, and that's a reference to a, a popular song that had come out near the end of World War I. I don't remember, but wouldn't be surprised if my grandmother had played this tune on the farmhouse upright piano in the living room, because everyone in the family seemed to know the words. Perhaps the most paramount of messages I have for you students today is that whatever drives your spirit and your dream, it's quite possible those future ambitions are achievable. You'll get by with a lot of adult guidance and plenty of their anxiety, and with a little help from your old and new friends. Frequently, I try to catch a still life feature on the last page of the Wall Street Journal magazine. Monthly, a man or woman of note is asked to share a few favorite things. And a photograph always accompanies a brief description of the selections. I've always thought that this is kind of interesting because I get a glimpse into what shapes their lives and professions. Similarly, one sees much the same thing when walking the halls and stepping into the classrooms at academy. 
We teachers tend to gather and display items that have brought joy to us and figure students should be stimulated by them as well. From among my room clutter, I shall show you a few of mine. Uh, some I have worked out. represents my German ancestry and the, the, the teacher I was going to be uh, before I had switched my education uh, major to art education. It's Sprecher Deutsch ein bisschen. So uh, here we go for that. Somehow, 
my, I think my mom said, why don't you take that to school and have the kids try it? And I said, well, okay. You know, and so I did, and you know, in the early, or in the mid-70s, he was looking much better than he does now. <laughs> he wasn't quite as dusty, he had full ears, he had a bushy tail, and he was holding a nut. Uh, but he has passed time pretty well. He rests on that nice, really nice bookcase I have in my room. You can put lots of things up there. And I like to look up there, and I like to go over and look at those books, but I see him up in the corner every day, you know. So, I got this idea at some point to create a squirrel award. And this was the base for it. And it used to be a very nice school base until Mr. Neal knocked it over one day. <laughs> and said, oh, I'm so sorry, I was curious, you know, but that, that's the way things go, okay? Uh, it is what it is. So I went ahead and tried to like glue it back together and I kind of like the idea that it looked bad too because the squirrel was aging as well. Now, what this award is all about is that I gave this award to freshmen, a special freshman who would be one of the kindest, uh, hardworking, uh, faithful, uh, genuine kids you could want to teach, but he could not create a lick of art. <laughs> and so, and, and they do that, okay? And it did become sort of like competitive. People wanted to win this. I said, you can't win this. Okay, you have to, you know, you have to be special to be selected. <laughs> and you have to be so special that you know, they used to have these little punch plastic things that you would punch names. I think they were called dino markers or whatever. And that's how I inscribed each year. The first one on here is Dean Backwoods from 1977. So this dates pretty far back. Um, we got more that have fallen off inside the cup here uh, from the 80s. But I do have a special one on here. Where is it? I, I have it. Well, someplace, maybe it's put it on. Anyhow, if you want the cup, you got a plaque. Okay? That I made out of clay. And this particular one was Brian to me about a month ago. And it says the Golden Squirrel awarded to Scott D. Gerwin, 1979. Uh, and I'm so glad that Joey brought this in because I hadn't seen these for a long time, and I wanted to kind of, kind of, kind of start the tradition again, but I wasn't sure. But uh, well, I haven't decided how to go about doing this, but perhaps we'll see a revival of this award down the line. Okay. I'll get this up.
the era of the Great Depression and the hippie culture. I got my hippie tie on here today, uh, which is actually made of denim. The zipper doesn't work back to the back door. Okay. Got a belt loop if I want to put a uh, pen in there, something that works very well too. They're probably, the, the two eras are very different, but they're very similar in that they, people needed necessities and lifestyles that, in which they had to survive and live simply. So taping, stapling, darning, gluing, mis mismatch stuff together. Make things usable once again. And so they last a bit longer. When painting, Pablo Picasso once said that if he ran out of red paint, he would use blue. So, be resourceful and inventive. Be avant-garde. Make your efforts groundbreaking. All right. Just a few words to the class of 2023. On behalf of your faculty, coaches, and staff, throughout your formative years, our devotion to your development as a student and individual will never end. Needless to say, there have been periods of challenging times and stress during your upper school years, but you have answered them with numerous displays of strengths, stamina, and successes. You have performed with determination and brilliance we have noticed you are prepared and anxious to hit the road. So, in all of your future endeavors, try to keep your ducks in a row and make hay while the sun shines. Okay, one more item. I got, well, actually two. I got my Bob Ross chia pen. Did somebody clean up for me very well? I also hang a Bob Ross calendar in my room. I, I search every year for this. Okay, I, I got, for some reason I gotta have one. Uh, I, I, even though I don't think Bob and I would get along very well. Actually, uh, you art students that I treasure and have endured my rages about his painting techniques, his look-alike pieces, and marketing of paint like Bob Ross materials. However, there's something about Bob Ross and his clothes that aren't too bad. And I have uh, earmarked a couple of these on here. I, I, I know you're not putting that up to turn your calendar forward or something like that. And, you know, if you haven't done that, so I'm just kind of like peeking. Uh, is that what I think? Oh. Okay. So anyway, I have a few that I'm going to share with you. And I think they're, they, I, I, I'll give him credit here. I like what he says. I don't think I could have thought of it. You can move mountains, rivers, and trees. You can determine what your world is like. I like that. If you're a painter, every painting you do is going to be different. And that's what makes it great. Here's a picture of one of his paintings. Very colorful, very lovely. And this is where we kind of hook up here. This would be a good place for my little squirrel to live. <laughs> and here's a, another nice landscape. Let's make some nice little clouds that you have to float around and have fun all day. Okay, that, you should have fun. You gotta have some fun. Painting is as individual as people are. So when you're doing a painting, you decide what makes you happy. I know I'll, if you're painting in my room, I'll come over and tell you what you're doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one for the road in a way. Friends are the most valuable things in the world. And even a little tree needs a friend. And the last one on here I like the best uh, because I, I think, I, he, he might have said this at the end of his shows, uh, I think 
and many of you out here are greater fans than I am. But I look forward to seeing you again. Happy painting. God bless my friends. <laughs>